Yoga has been a part of my childhood memory because my grandfather uh, was a uh, avid yoga practitioner and uh, he would also follow an Ayurvedic diet and uh, he would meditate and uh, show us how to meditate and uh, I just thought that that's what all grandfathers do. Since I restarted my yoga journey uh, last year and uh, this time under a trained uh, yoga instructor with, uh, you know, three times a week and at a particular time, 5.30 in the morning, uh, what has changed for me are two things. One is that uh, I've been doing a lot more of mindful breathing because during the asana there's so much of inhale, exhale with each of the steps that mindful breathing just becomes a part of you. And the other thing which has uh, changed uh, is a bit of my posture. I feel that earlier I used to have a little uh, bit of my shoulders used to droop and uh, and it used to happen unconscious, unconsciously. And uh, my and with yoga in just around three months what I started doing I mean what happened was that your, my posture automatically improved because you know lengthening the spine tucking in the core just became part of uh, me Atmantan is one of my favorite places uh, I would say in the world to be because it gives me a lot of peace whenever I've gone there I've always uh, it's like a reboot to the system that you gave and what I have learned from Atmantan, yes, I have learned uh, to be disciplined and I have learned to be more mindful. Uh, so that is the switch I think Atmantan made for me that I, ch I chose mindfulness over multitasking. Before, because earlier I always thought that multitasking is an asset, you know, that you're doing, this, uh, you're doing two things at a time, three things at a time. But I think it was during uh, the whole uh, Atmantan experience that uh, it taught me that how you can actually uh, regulate uh, stress or you can just improve your productivity uh, and creativity by being mindful and being in the moment.